Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at Pascal in more detail, going over everything you need to know including how to find more pearls, and then highlighting all the mermaid furniture items available. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are almost a week into wave one of the Animal Crossing New Horizons summer update. It kind of seems like we've been able to swim forever, but I think that's just because that's all we've been doing for the last few days. Anyway, as you probably know, alongside the swimming and diving mechanic, the summer update also added Pascal, a brand new special character to New Horizons. We'll be going over pretty much everything, so let's get straight into how to encounter him. Pascal is unlike the other visiting characters and isn't scheduled or predetermined at the start of the week and can actually be encountered every single day which is really awesome. Now in order to bump into Pascal you first need to buy a wetsuit and start swimming around in the ocean. Not that you would want to but there's no way to find him without swimming. Next is simply a case of finding a scallop by diving down to the seabed and catching one. There are currently 40 odd sea creatures available in the game and over half of them can be caught right now so it may take a little while for you to actually find a scallop but when you do there's a good chance Pascal will randomly appear and start up a conversation with you. And really it's as simple as that to encounter him. There's a couple of things to note though, Pascal can only be encountered once per day no matter how many scallops you catch. You could literally grind and catch 10 scallops or more and you still only encounter him once until the next day. And it may not even be on the first one you find. Also, don't forget scallops are part of the Critopedia and can be donated to Blathers at the museum so be sure to catch an extra one anyway. Furthermore, it's been reported that Pascal won't show up if your gates are open or you have full pockets, especially for the first ever encounter. So to be safe and if you've never met him before, make sure your gates are closed and you have plenty of inventory space for diving. Now why do we want to encounter Pascal? Well pretty much the same as any other special characters in New Horizons really, Pascal is the only way to obtain the exclusive and very popular mermaid furniture set. When you finally do encounter him after catching a scallop, he offers to take it off your hands in return he'll reward you with an item. This reward can be one of three things, either a mermaid DIY recipe, so we can craft one of the amazing mermaid furniture items which we'll look at just shortly, a piece of mermaid clothing or a pearl. What Pascal decides to give you is random but it seems pearls are awarded a bit more frequently than recipes but it's purely random. Now pearls are quite a rare item and are actually a crafter material that we need to be able to craft the mermaid furniture so it's not all bad if you get a bunch of pearls from Pascal before getting a recipe. Plus pearls are worth a whopping 10,000 bells each so even if you don't want them you can make some quick cash. Anyway, obtaining this expensive crafting material isn't restricted to Pascal, pearls can also be found on the seabed disguised as sea creatures. So if you need more pearls, which I think we all do, simply spend a while diving around and catching as many sea creatures as possible and eventually you'll come across a pearl or two. A good tip if you're searching specifically for pearls is to focus on the small shadows that don't move. Despite some creatures like the barnacle also having a small shadow, this will significantly narrow down your search time. Plus look for ones that only have a few bubbles floating up from the shadow in a straight line. If the shadow is large or moving or there are lots of bubbles, ignore it and it shouldn't take long to find a handful of pearls. Now unlike the scallops, the pearls are just a crafting material, they're not actually a sea creature so don't worry about donating one to the museum, if you happen to have any spare, save them or sell them. Now moving on, when trading scallops with Pascal, excluding pearls, he will give you either one of 14 DIY recipes or one of 7 clothing items. Some of the furniture items include the mermaid bed, the mermaid chair, the mermaid closet, the mermaid chest, the mermaid floor, the mermaid lamp and rug, the mermaid screen which is possibly my favourite item I think, the mermaid shelf, the mermaid sofa or large chair, the mermaid table, mermaid dresser and finally the mermaid wall and wall clock. So really really cool mermaid themed items, I'm definitely glad full sets like these have returned to New Horizons. Some of the clothing items you may get if you don't get a recipe include the mermaid tiara, the mermaid fishy dress, the mermaid princess dress and finally the mermaid shoes. And as you can see all the mermaid clothing items except the tiara come in two colour variations and are all treated as separate items. 
So there's a whole load of mermaid themed items to collect from Pascal. So unless you trade with friends, we will take a little while to complete. So it's good news that Pascal visits every day. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we need pearls to be able to craft these recipes and to craft one of each of the mermaid items, we actually need 20 pearls in total. But if you spend a while diving and encounter Pascal a bunch of times, it won't be long before you have enough. And there we have it. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Pascal, pearls and the amazing mermaid furniture set. Of course, if I've missed any tips or anything you think people should know, be sure to let us know, especially if it's about finding pearls. But what do you think about this mermaid set? Are you a fan? And have you spoken to Pascal yet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment Pearl. Just let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And please be sure to include how many pearls you found already. I'd love to know. Personally, I found three, two from diving and and one from Pascal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.